Welcome to Bed Crime Stories Podcast. I'm your host, T. Tonight I want to share a little bed crime bite with you guys. The Delphi trial has now been delayed by 10 months after the suspect, Richard Allen's defense team, withdrew from the case due to, quote, gross negligence over gruesome crime scene photos that were leaked to the public. Those defense attorneys, Andrew Baldwin and Brad Rossi, were ordered by special judge Fran Gull to cease work on Allen's case Earlier this month, Judge Gull told the court that Baldwin and Rossi were removed from the case because of the leak of evidence. Rossi denied the claim in a filing on Thursday and said that they withdrew to not hurt their client. Baldwin told the court that Richard Allen wanted them to continue representing him. Now, on Friday, defense attorneys William Labrado and Richard Scremen became Allen's newly appointed attorneys, and they told Judge Gull that they haven't yet received discovery, meaning they had not received all the evidence from the prosecutors, so they said it would be impossible to review all the evidence in time for the scheduled January 2024 trial. Then, on Tuesday of this week, the attorneys filed a motion and the judge approved a delay. The new date for the trial is set for October 15th through 31st in 2024. So during today's hearing at the Carroll County Courthouse, Richard Allen was brought into the courtroom handcuffed and he sat next to his former defense attorneys, Baldwin and Rossi, as his newly appointed defense attorneys sat nearby. Awkward. And before Judge Gull addressed Baldwin and Rossi, new attorney Labrado shared his motions requesting a jury trial, and prosecutor Nicholas McLeland agreed. Now, Rossi claimed in a filing last Thursday that the judge ordered him and attorney Baldwin to cease work on Mr. Allen's case on October 12th until they were set to appear in court on October 19th. During the October 19th hearing, Judge Gull said that Baldwin had withdrawn from the case and said she expected Rossi to do the same. But apparently, Rossi requested that Judge Gull remove herself from the case. Extra awkward. Rossi's got some cojones. Prosecutor McLellan said he was, quote, at a loss when he was asked by the judge for his response. He shared with the court that he was concerned about Richard Allen getting a fair trial. That seems like a politically correct answer. McLeland alleged that Baldwin and Rossi not only made negligent statements, but they also, quote, told lies. McLeland told the court that the two attorneys were trying to have the trial in the public eye, and I would have to agree with that. So during the hearing, Judge Gull turned to Richard Allen and said, I cannot and will not allow these attorneys to represent you, end quote. She disqualified Baldwin and Rossi from representing Allen even pro bono. She also ordered both lawyers to hand over the discovery to the newly appointed lawyers. I have to say that Baldwin and Rossi seem like rebels. They don't appear to be recalcitrant, or at least Baldwin, for leaking those crime scene photos. I know he said it wasn't his fault, but he is the one who allowed that friend or ex-colleague into his office where that person ended up taking photos of the crime scene photos and then sharing them. So Baldwin failed to secure the evidence. And Baldwin's lawyer, a guy named David Hennessy, spoke to the judge about the disqualification and he denied the gross negligence and said they were not prepared for the ruling on October 19th having the team withdraw. He further stated that the summary judgment was, quote, unconstitutional. So now 
Allen's new defense attorneys have asked the Indiana State Supreme Court to reinstate important documents from the original defense team that the judge ordered to be removed from the record. The court stated that November 9th is the deadline for those materials to be submitted. All I can say is what a colossal cluster F. The people who are suffering from all this crap are the families, and it's so unfair. That's all for now in this bed crime bite. I'll see you next time on Bed Crime Stories.